Special triangles become very, very important in, in trigonometry. Look for clues, folks. How do you know you're going to deal with a special triangle? Well, one of the things that you can look for is this expression right here. This is exact value. As soon as you see exact value, chances are you're going to be dealing with a special triangle. Okay, that's why I put it out here. But here's another thing. Know your triangles. Draw out your triangles before you even start so that you know what you're dealing with. Case in point, you only have two triangles that you have to worry about. That's this one. That's that 30, 60, 90. So the 30 floats to the top. The 60 sinks to the bottom. Your right angles on the right count. One, two, root three, done. And the other one you know is going to be this 45, 45 one right? Where there's the 90 degrees, there's the 45, there's the 45. These two sides are the same, and that's what gives, gives it away. As soon as you see that these guys are the same, they look like ones, and that's got to be root two. I always tell my students, one and one makes root two in a 45 degree triangle, right? Real easy to memorize, easy to deal with. Now, take a look at this. How do you solve this then? How do you know which one you're dealing with? Well, case in point, Look at the first one. I'm going to just do these real quickly. Watch. This is one half. Notice which triangle you're dealing with. This will have to have either a root 2 in it or a 1 over root 2 in it. Well, that's got one half. That means automatically you're dealing with this triangle. That's how it works. Okay, so let's draw this triangle out real quick like. But a bump, but a bump, but a bump. There's my 60. There's my 30. There's my 90 degrees. One, two, root three. I'm ready to go. Okay, so where is cosine? Remember, this is so. You're dealing with cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, if you think about it, adjacent would be this guy right here. There's your hypotenuse right there. You know you're dealing with 60 degrees then. So, Easy peasy, theta is 60 degrees, done. If you don't believe me, chuck this into your calculator on degrees, hit cosine 60 degrees, you'll see that that actually works out to be 0.5, 1 over 2. Okay, so then let's use the same kind of idea and go to the next one. Look at this. This is 1 over root 3. Notice this does not have 1 over root 3 in it. This is the only one that has 1 over root 3. So draw it out. Okay, here we go. And plus this is good practice drawing out the special triangles, right? Okay, 1, 2, root 3. Now, remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent opposite over adjacent so that means one has to be opposite adjacent has to be root three well simple then if it's adjacent that means it's got to be right next to this angle oh look at that there's there's opposite right there there's adjacent right there there's your one over root three theta's automatically up 30 degrees done that's simple let's go to the next one check this one out now okay here we go look at this 1 over root 2. Well, obviously, root 2, the only one that has, the only special triangle that has root 2 in it is that one, right? So let's draw it out. Da -da 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 -da. There's 45 degrees. There's 45 degrees. There's the 90. 1, 1. There's the root 2. So which one is it then? It doesn't matter. These guys are exactly the same. Look, if you choose that one, that's opposite over hypotenuse. That's got to be your hypotenuse. It's got to be... 45 degrees, right? Right. Look at the last one. Look at the last one here, okay? This is root 3. We're not going to deal with this guy because it doesn't have root 3 in it. It has to be this one. Okay, so let's draw it out. There's my 60 degrees. There's my 30 degrees right there. There's my 91, 2, root 3. There's the root 3 I'm talking about. But this is tangent, which you know is Toa opposite over adjacent so adjacent's got to be one that's got to be opposite that's got to be adjacent so opposite but a boom of 60 degrees there's your opposite there's your adjacent done opposite over adjacent fate has got to be you bet 60 degrees you bet there it is done